All right, man. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Happy morning to you guys. Good morning. Um, someone told me uh, I shouldn't say good morning. I shouldn't say good evening, six o'clock and all that stuff, because they said that uh, the show should be able to be at any time. And um, that I kind of feel like that's not hard work for me. So I have to say good morning to you guys. Good afternoon and good evening. So, uh, yeah. So today's episode, we're going to be talking about, oh, damn, I didn't even say torture talk. Like, share, subscribe to the page. Hit the thumbs up button if you like the content. Look, man. So today we're going to be talking about Rory and Maul um, saying J. J. Cole took a side. Um, and I thought this was fascinating coming from them, too. You know what I'm saying? And um, yeah, we're going to get into that. Um, before I get into it, let me get my spill. This is Torture Talk. If you like the content, please consider subscribing. If you're new here, let me work for your subscription. All the beautiful, sexy ladies put one in the chat. All the fellas jumping where the final ones at. Just don't harass them. I don't sell no merch, but I do have content. It's absolutely free. But if you want to leave a donation, links on the screen, Cash App, PayPal is in the description. Let me know where you're from. They called me the Hidden Gym. I went from 1,300 subscribers to over 11,000. Um, yeah, so... Before I get into that, I know this is a long spill, but it has to be said. We are on this page to agree to disagree. Um, I dropped the episode yesterday, and I see a lot of people coming at me in the comments, which is fine. I like that. Um, I just want to say, I I appreciate people disagreeing with me on my takes, because that makes me a better person, especially if I'm wrong. If I'm wrong, I'll admit I'm wrong. If I'm right, you know I'm going to admit I'm right. You know what I'm saying? So as long as we can have a dialogue and there's no yes men over here, I'm cool with that. If you're a yes man, yeah, cool. But as long as we can have a dialogue, and there's some people who called me out and said that I was wrong for certain things, and I disagree. But we all still friends. We all still family. That's how it works. You know? That's how it goes. So so appreciate y'all, man. Appreciate y'all coming in the comments and saying how y'all feel. I love it. Keep it up. All right, man. So look, I know that was a long intro, but hey, I had to say that. So let's get to the let's get to this Rory and Maul thing. <laughs> All right, man. Good morning to y'all, man. Let's keep it going, man. Thank y'all for joining me this morning. I really appreciate y'all. Yeah, so let's get it. I just into my theory. What was oh. yours? Let's not. Uh, Rory had an interesting theory about Cole that oh, uh, he shared I, off mic. More interested in my theory? What oh. was yours? Let's not get into it. Well, that. let me hear his um, theory first. Well, first, I wanted to. I'll offer my plate of collard greens. I wanted to bring positivity to how great this song is and how much I do like it. I want to get right oh, back. Oh, you started with love and yeah. adoration. Because I love the song. Oh, okay. Then, but now we about to get to the. Because there's been a weird, yeah, a weird theory yeah. that people think we're Cole haters yeah. up here, and I love Cole. Yeah. And I think, and I still stand by this. Probably is the best rap song of 2024. I've uh, not heard anyone rap like yeah, these yeah, two I heard, gentlemen. I, heard, I disagree with that. That's definitely not the best rap song. No, you know I mean no, no. It's there, but it's not the best. He ransom. Uh. Uh-uh. Uh. Nah, <laughs> nah, certain, certain, certain ransom verses is, is better than this. I'm just going to be clear. Like, but Daylight and the what's the name did their thing, though. I ain't going to lie. But that's, that's not even what we're here for. So let's go. You get to the hate. This isn't hate. No, it's not even hate. It's an observation of the choices that have been made, and I have seen no one else talking about Ooh, it. Ooh, the line after, has been drawn in the sand? After mm. the Cash Bang thing. What cool, side whatever. you on? Cole chose the side, and no one's talking about it. Mm. After the beef, even a- just shut the fuck up. <laughs> At a certain point, you do just man, shut I swear. the fuck up. I've never seen nothing like this. Like when it, whenever it comes to Drake, everybody has to seem like people saying he, he they choosing a side. When it comes to Kendrick, it doesn't matter. But when it comes to Drake. You you dudes are just as soft as Drake. I'm not even going to lie. Y'all just as soft as this dude. Because all the videos that I make, and I see this, it's a re- reoccurring thing with you dudes with Drake. It's like y'all got a, y'all got a, 
cuff his nuts. And I can almost guarantee you guys is going to get on here and say something about like what, what they all say about the feature thing. Oh, he's not going to mess up his features or something like that. Something stupid. You know what I'm saying? Because what y'all, what I don't get from a lot of these, these podcasters like this is they implying that everybody needs Drake. That's what they're implying. They're implying like, oh, you're going to get a feature from Drake. Drake hasn't, and I don't, and I think they're living in delusional world. Drake hasn't done anything that was anything good. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, I believe he has one song in the top 100 now, Drake. Just one. Now, I don't know if it's, if that one fell off the top 100, but it just seems to me like you dudes feel like everybody needs Drake. It's like they can't even be artists on their own for some reason. Let's keep it going. After Drake had said, I don't give a fuck how Cole feels, and went after Kendrick, mm -hmm. we have seen Cole collaborate with two people that one could deem be ops of Drake specifically. Mm -hmm. We know he's been going back. Like, what is this? High school shit? Like, what the f*** is this? What is this? We see people who are deemed to be Drake's ops. So what? Who gives us? So what? They're Drake's ops and they're working with Drake's ops. So what? It's like everybody's Drake's ops. Everybody. So if they work with anybody, it's a problem. Except for dudes who ain't known. It's like, what are y'all talking about? You dudes, you dudes be making so many excuses for this dude. It's unbelievable. I cannot believe this. Back and forth with ASAP Rocky. Mm -hmm. We've never even known Cole and ASAP to ever have like a relationship like that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we don't, know. We don't know these people. They probably talk. Yeah. But I, I don't know if that was. <laughs> oh my God. So the man can't do music with ASAP Rocky because y'all don't know if they had a relationship or not. So because 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 ASAP because ASAP was defending his wife, and now you guys are sitting here saying that 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 it's it's weird to y'all that J Cole would do a song with ASAP Rocky even though Drake was the one doing all the goofy sh bro you niggas is wild like on the list with the midst of everything going on that everyone would wanted the Cole and Rocky song I like the song don't get me wrong it's just interesting timing. And Cole, who was trying to play neutral for the most part, I think made a full decision by not only doing a song with Rocky, doing a fucking video with him too, and then turn around a week later and do a song with someone that's part of TDE. Mm. I think he clearly put his foot in the sand and said, I am on this side. I am not fucking with Drake anymore. <laughs> so, okay. So Drake wasn't so 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 okay, high schoolers. That's what I'm gonna start calling you niggas. High schoolers. Okay, you 30 year old, almost 40 year old men talking like you're in high school. You know what I'm saying? I can't believe that you dudes. Yeah, it's so crazy that you dudes are doing this. It's crazy. It's like he drew a line in the sand because that means he ain't messing with Drake. It's like I don't know if y'all noticed that uh nobody's messing with Drake. <laughs> Except y'all. Like, I don't understand it. It's like, y'all. I, I feel like some of you dudes feel like y'all got to defend Drake's honor so bad. It's like, it's, I don't understand what he has on you dudes or what he have over you dudes or like what type of spell he got on you guys. It's like, y'all feel like y'all have to defend this guy. It's like, oh, he's doing a song with the ops. It's like, really? <laughs> like, like, really? Like, come on, bro. You can't be serious. Someone that went from being neutral for the most part and even left Dreamville Fest saying, I want no parts of this back and forth. This is, this is weird. Why specifically are you going to work with two people that could be deemed ops of Drake right after that entire thing? <laughs> Yo, this is so funny. This is laughable. You dudes are clowns, man. Y'all clowns. Y'all making a whole spectacle out of this? Oh, my God, bro. This is great. This is great. Oh, my God. I don't think I'm crazy well, for, for observing answer. that. That's a simple answer. You think he did it intentionally? I think that he know Drake ain't fucking with him. 
All right, so at least we're on the same side. Yeah, that, that ain't that's, that's right. that was your theory. That's less of a debate. That ain't no theory. I just, no, I've seen no one speak about how odd that was. Man, Jake, just with Rocky, man. But then Daylight obviously during Daylight was a trusted source during the Drake and Kendrick beat Bro. when it came to information on that Bro, side. Let me explain. These something. TDE. Okay, cool. Let me explain something to you. All of these niggas are very aware that the kid from the north ain't fucking with them no more. <laughs> the kid from the north. Don't refer. <laughs> Yo, bro, Maul, shut, shut up, Maul. <laughs> Yo, you dudes, bro, I, I swear to y'all, I never seen people ride the dick like these niggas. I never seen it. I'm telling you, man, they got a special OVO saddle that they pull out and they jump on it and go like on a Clydesdale horse, you know, the big joints with the fur at the bottom of the of their of their feet or whatever they call it. I know it ain't feet, but what do they call it? Uh, the shoe. You know what I'm saying? And they he he probably got the big john, the big white john that has OVO on the top, and he go. Like this, like a mall. I'm over your mall. It's like, bro, what are you talking about? It's like, I don't, what I don't understand is you act as if everybody is scared not to fuck with Drake. Bro, I, you, I know you noticed this, and I wish I could actually talk to this dude and say, bro, you know Drake has dropped plenty songs and they haven't went nowhere right this is supposed to be your golden child this is supposed to be the golden one the kid from the north this is this is supposed to be but he hasn't done nothing he hasn't i wish y'all just admitted that he fell off drake has fell off just admit it he got put in a box and thrown into the ocean that's it that's it I mean, all right the boy I, from no, the north works. <laughs> yeah like what you want me to say the man from the north okay they, they all every one of these you rappers can use his artist drake every one of these rappers and mcs and whatever the else you want to identify them as all of you niggas that got features that helped your career that i handed you your first number one some of you your only number one they know good and goddamn well that Drake is not fucking with any of them anymore. They know that. And I don't, I don't want to make Julian uncomfortable. Uh, I promise we love Dreamville here and we love J. Cole, but I can still be critical even though I've loved these ASAP Rocky. What are you being critical about? What are you, what are you critiquing? You're critiquing that he's working with someone that Drake doesn't like? That's your critique? That's what you're being critical about. You're being you're being harsh on you ain't being harsh on Drake and some of the things that he's been saying and egregious things. And some of the things that people are alleging that he had something to do with people getting deleted. You're not worried about that. You're more worried about people doing features with other people because it makes Drake uncomfortable. If that's not some of the high level dick riding I've ever seen in my life, it's I, I'm telling you, I've never seen this high level space cadet level dick riding. I'm telling you, it's crazy. Features. He got, got the album. He got the video of the year with that Taylor Swift video. Oh, his, his, his videos. His last incredible. four videos in the yeah. last two years. Tells, all you should videos. direct more videos. videos. Like, that goes up. He's one of the best visual artists. Period. At this point, I think Cole is being a little bit of a hypocrite. After he had his moment on stage which we were critical about, but at this point, I really don't care. I'm just looking forward to more J. Cole music. I just find it hypocritical that you wanted to stay away from the beef, but now specifically are working with people that we would deem Drake's ops. <laughs> Cause y'all little kids, that's why. <laughs> Yo. 
you y'all have a, y'all have the feeling. It's like, bro, who cares? So so what? So what? He's working with them. So so you're telling me that okay? So let's let's, let's do it like this. Everybody doesn't like Drake. Most of these people, right? Now let's just say, for example, right? If everybody doesn't like Drake and he works with anybody, you will have a problem with it. Either way, you're going to have a problem with it. You're going to have a problem with it. But if it's three of these dudes, the big three, and one of them has a problem with the other, and the other one literally did a diss song on the other one. He sided with, with Drake. He sided with Drake when they did First Person Shooter. I didn't see y'all coming out saying anything about that. I didn't see y'all saying, damn, I can't believe that J. Cole took a side over Kendrick. Even though J. Cole and Kendrick is more friends or more closer, people would say, than, than what's it? And I believe that's why Kendrick kind of felt some type of way because he felt like, okay, me and this dude is more close than you and this dude. But again, J. Cole. J. Cole does a song with Drake. Someone argued that he's coming at Kendrick. Drake coming at Kendrick. They both coming at Kendrick. First person shooter. So would make Kendrick go and do uh like that, right? Okay, cool. Then after he did like that, J. Cole did a verse, seven minute drill, where he was dissing Kendrick Lamar. He did a diss track on Kendrick Lamar. Then he came and said, I apologize. I didn't mean that. It hurt me to my soul. Right? But it's still there. He still did the diss track, which means he sided with Drake. Right? He did a clear diss track on Kendrick. A clear diss track. It wasn't this. He has not done a clear diss track on Drake. So how are y'all saying that he is Drake's op now? He hasn't done anything clear to diss Drake. And we could see that he did that with, 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 um, with Kendrick. He did a clear diss track on Kendrick. He deleted it. He got rid of it, but he did it anyway. Can't say he didn't. He has not dissed Drake. He has not. So what I have to say is what I believe it's Drake's fault that y'all doing all this because he's the sensitive one. You know what I'm saying? He's the sensitive one. Drake shouldn't have a problem with him, with, with, with J. Cole doing songs with anybody because that's his career. And on top of that, we all know J. Cole for doing features now. So how is it that y'all upset or mad or feel some type of way off of him doing features when that's what he's known for right now? He's known for doing features. So who are we supposed to work with? Because everybody has an issue with Drake. So who are we supposed to work with? You're going to make me tiptoe around shit. Who the, who the hell are you to make me tiptoe around doing uh, verses with someone? Who are you? You Okay, you got 32 platinum albums. 32 million albums sold. Okay, cool. I got 18, nigga. Who cares? I could sell records without you. We did a couple of joints. That's about it. But most of my songs were solo that I was successful off of. Not you. I don't. Yeah, but no, don't, I don't do that don't now. Because when I came in here, specific. when like, I came in here and said he's scared and all that shit, you're like, I don't, no, he's I don't not. care about. I'm no, talking he's about not. now, currently. Yeah, I think, he better go. He I better think, go side up with somebody. I think he's still playing into the beef right now by doing these features. Who what? is he? But who is he scared of? Who is he scared of? Is he? You saying he's scared of Drake? Who is he scared of? J. Cole, J. Cole came at Kendrick and then he retracted it because I don't know if they said somebody talked to him. I don't know. He, ex he explained why he said he, it didn't feel good to him and he didn't feel genuine and he felt bad. That's what he said. And he backed off. He said, cause that's my boy. And I, ain't, I didn't shouldn't have did that. But you guys are roll with Drake because y'all like that type of slimy stuff. You're just a fan of their work. I mean, listen, I, Pi with, with Daylight um, on Cole's EP, I love. Like, yeah. I love the two of them working together. And obviously, they had a relationship. Yeah, why don't beef. we? Yeah, so why don't but, we consider that? Okay, but do you think, you think Cole did verse swaps with Daylight? Like, he, Daylight reminded him like he owed him one? No, I don't think Or do you the think case. he specifically has been working with people 
that post beef could view it as Drake's opposition. Man, I think they you're know. projecting that view. No, that, it's I'm, not I'm, a view. It's what it is. Bro, it's what, what it is. Bro, what are you talking about? So because somebody worked with somebody, this what it is? Like, what are you talking about? Like, I, what I don't understand is how you dudes, how you dudes making sense out of that? He could have been did those verses with them. Now, again, I'm not saying that there ain't no ops. I ain't saying they ain't ops. But to be clear, I'm thinking that maybe J. Cole just don't care. And he want to do what he want to do. And that's it. Because did y'all say this about J. Cole when J. Cole and Drake was doing stuff? Did y'all say, yeah, he coming at Kendrick and that's Kendrick ops. Did y'all say that then? No, y'all didn't. Y'all didn't care. Now, all of a sudden, y'all want to make this make this like some type of big deal? Like, come on, man. Like, you know, they know, Cole knows. And know you don't that. have to get uncomfortable because we're not speaking bad about no, Cole. Saying, I like I, that he's entered the I ring think, again. I think like most music critics and, and fans alike, people want to look for the angle or the thing. But sometimes, and I'm not saying that's the case in this instance, maybe Cole is doing it because he's, you know, chose us out, whatever. But sometimes, like, the business goes on. They've made music together. They're making more music together. It could be as simple as that. That's all I'm saying. With Daylight? Yeah. I mean, yeah, it could be. It could be. That's all I'm know saying. What the, he ain't getting a feature from, from Drake. He might gonna go oh, rap no, with somebody. Probably not. And not say- <laughs> I got news for you, ball. Nobody cares about features from Drake anymore. <laughs> <coughs> It was me, man. That was a good laugh. Um, nobody cares, man. Because if everybody cared, they'd still be trying to get features from him. Why nobody trying to get features from him? Because <laughs> he, he ain't moving nothing no more. <laughs> He's like, oh, yeah. He ain't going to get a feature from Drake. Oh, I got news for you, Maul. There was a couple of people who had features from Drake, and they didn't go nowhere. All them Jones didn't go nowhere. Like, they didn't go nowhere. So what are you talking about? Like, why do y'all think that everybody want a feature from Drake now? Nobody wants a feature from Drake no more. They don't. Nobody really cares about features from Drake anymore. They really don't. <laughs> like, they don't. <laughs> I don't I don't know how to tell you dudes this. Nobody cares for features from Drake anymore. Because if they did, they would be trying to get features from him. No one cares. Like, no one. <laughs> like, for real. And that Cole needs to rap with anybody because he gave us a phenomenal album with no features. <laughs> yeah, he gave us a phenomenal album with no features. So he doesn't need a feature. So why you even say that, Maul? I said that earlier. This dude has work with no features. And you're going to sit here and say, well, he won't get no more features from Drake. He's successful without features from Drake. <laughs> the fuck? Yo, what's going on with you dudes, bro? You dudes, you dudes, oh man, you dudes, man. Double platinum. But we ain't going to act like we don't recognize and, and, and see the, 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 the room has changed and it's certain people that's not in the room no more. Certain text messages ain't being answered. Certain phone calls ain't being answered. We know what's going on. Like the- Maybe, maybe, this is, this is what you got to understand, Maul. And I think you don't understand this. Maybe it's the one, maybe Drake is the one that everybody's not fucking with no why is it that Drake got to be the one that he ain't fucking with everybody? Maybe people just ain't fucking with him no more. Whether you want to say they got their number ones from him or whatever, it doesn't matter. Maybe nobody's messing with him no more, not the other way around. Maybe that's what it is. You know, maybe maybe that's what it is. And this is the reason why he probably unfollowed everybody. Because everybody's looking at him like, bro, we don't, we don't care about you like that no more. Whatever, dog. The the entire the entire the entire table of rappers and MCs that were sitting next to each other it has completely shifted. It's a whole bunch of people that are not fucking with each other anymore as a result of this Kendrick. That is not true. <laughs> you trying to make it that way? No, it's not true. That's not true. The people. The people you that that may be afraid to mess with other people because they supposed to be cool with Drake, okay, maybe. 
but you won't really see them really doing music with Kendrick anyway. But out at the same time, I don't see everybody busting Drake down door down to get features. I don't. Mm-hmm. And Drake shit, specifically coming from Drake's side, there are a bunch of people that had access to him that hung out with him and got features whenever they asked. That shit is over with, and I think we all. But who? But who? Like you, y'all acting as if like these dudes, like you acting as if like this is what kills me about these dudes, right? Drake could do one thing for somebody, and they'll contribute that to his their whole career. So they said, "Oh, Drake did he did a song he made Rick Ross one of his Rick Ross go song go number one or whatever, right?" But but from me from my understanding, Rick Ross had Rick Ross has multiple hits that doesn't have Drake on him at all. You know what I'm saying? That's that's one too. Um, Rick Ross don't really care. He don't really care whether Drake, whether he do features with Drake anymore. I don't think he cares. I don't think nobody cares if they do features with Drake anymore. Maybe some new niggas who really ain't got nothing going on. But these other dudes that's ex- established, you think The Weeknd really cares about doing a feature with Drake? You think The Weeknd really cares? You think these dudes really care? No, they don't. They don't care. Like, I'm sorry to tell you this, Maul. They don't care about doing features with Drake anymore. I don't think nobody cares. Because I think they look at it like, well, he's not really that guy anymore. You, y'all might think he is. Y'all might think he still has that spot. But he's really not that guy anymore. Nobody cares about Drake like that no more. I know y'all don't want to believe it. I know it's hard to believe, nigga. But it is what it is. Nobody really cares. It, 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 we, we, we have the history. He dropped 16, 15, 16 songs, and nobody cared. Nobody cares, bro. And ironically, one of the songs that was remaining in the joint was something that Kendrick said, Circadian Rhythm. No, and can agree with that. But that doesn't mean that music stops and we don't still get dope verses from rappers and shit like yeah the, the music the industry will go on and go forward but we're not gonna sit there and act like oh it looks like he chose a side no drake chose the side that we're now seeing he know cole no he can't fuck with drake ain't fucking with him we all know in this room cole is one of the most intelligent rappers not just when it comes to making Man, shut up rory i you know i hate i hate dudes like this i hate these these uh, uh backhanded apology niggas it's like oh well, we all know that you're the best bro like rubbing your back, but sticking you in the side with a knife. Like, get out of here, dog. Like, cut it out. You know what I'm saying? Like, stop trying to stop trying to play both sides. Trying to soothe the nigga before you kill him. You know what I'm saying? You Dr. Kavorki and nigga. No. Shut up. Music, but we have championed his rollouts. Anytime he puts music out, I think he does it better than anyone of this generation. Except for Wallet. Except except for Wally's yeah. role. All right, first of all, get Jerry first Seinfeld. Of all, Wally did do a rollout with Jerry Seinfeld yeah. Diner. So, you know. But I think the 2014 Forest Hill Drive album rollout was the greatest album rollout I've ever seen in my personal One of my favorites for sure. By far. So we know how calculated and smart Cole is when it comes to optics and putting out music. As much as I want to be on Julian's side of like, it's probably all just a coincidence. And like, you know, he was going to work with Rocky anyways. And what side are we, what side are you choosing? What are we, what are we arguing here? You like, Oh, as much as I wanted to be on his side. I mean, he did, he did work with Drake's ops. So what? So what? How many ops have Drake worked with against other people? How many things have Drake has done? How many women he has, has, has had sex with, and behind dudes' backs. And you niggas is defending this dude. Like, get out of here, man. He won daylight verse swaps. He, he gave me one for my EP. I got him next month. Cole knows what this looks like. Mm-hmm. And he's doing it intentionally. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. That's why you can, you can be, be easy. I don't think there's anything wrong with what Cole's doing. I'm going to throw but up. Yeah. if Kendrick pops up on the fall off as a feature, then what happens? I'm going to throw a speculative bomb out there. Kendrick's going to be on Cole's album. I think Kendrick Lamar will be on the fall off. And I can't wait to hear the song. He will. Because I love both of them. But even in the meantime, I think. I hope he on that motherfucker. He probably is. I hope he is. 
I, I hope think, he is. I think I right now, if Drake I is putting out music, Kendrick is on I think he has every next... right to throw a shot at Cole, and Cole can't sit there and be like, nah, man, what, why, why are you shooting at me? Yeah, because you're doing music specifically with people I don't fuck with. <laughs> Yo, I've never seen that. Like, this is like a girls' club. <laughs> Yo, this is like a girls club. I've never seen nothing like this. This is fascinating. So if he if he pops up, I can't wait. I can't wait. It's like y'all like a girls club. <laughs> Shout out to the girls. <laughs> but ladies, y'all know what I'm talking about, right? It's like it's like the girls club. This is like the girls club, right? <laughs> I think Drake has every right to shoot at Cole now, to be quite honest. That's just my opinion. Cole asses on the chopping block. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> His ass is on the chopping block. Cole, you next, goddammit. <laughs> I'm explaining something to y'all. What do you mean by Cole is next? He just got smoked by Kendrick. There's no next. This is what y'all don't understand. Everybody's saying, oh, well, I mean, Drake could do Drake ain't doing nothing. He ain't doing nothing. If you think that. If you think, if y'all think that uh, Kendrick smoked him, I'm sure Drake could smoke. Uh, Drake, uh, uh, Cole could smoke Drake too. But what what are we talking about here? You on a chopping block? What? It's like, from what I'm understanding, y'all was saying before that wasn't Drake using J Cole? Again, the whole Megatron and Soundwave theory, where he turned to the gun, he's shooting at Kendrick through through uh. J. Cole. Like, you know what I mean? Niggas talking out their neck. You know what I'm saying? And pull a coffin out your mouth. You're too paranoid for a threat. Let's get it, bro. DOT, the money power respect. The last one is better. It's a lot of goofies with a check. You know what I'm saying? That's what it is. What chopping block? Chop he on the what? chopping block. For who? Yeah. Who right. got chopped the first time. Yeah, okay. Yeah, all right. You yeah, think right. J. Cole needs Drake for the rest of his career? I didn't he say that. He could be on the chopping block and J. I, Cole would be just fucking fine. Yeah, I didn't say that. Cole be the butcher. I didn't say that. I just said he's on the chopping block. <laughs> Go ahead. With, with, top with <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, this is great. This is great. It doesn't matter. You know, he know. That's why he's saying what he's saying. Maul knows. Maul absolutely knows that Drake don't want no smoke with uh with, with J. Cole. He really don't. That's a that's a second. That's a, another L that he'll take. A major L. He don't want to do that because Cole it was much more closer than Kendrick was. And I'm sure Cole know more stuff. Much more stuff than uh than Kendrick. Well, maybe not, because Kendrick is Kendrick is different, man. He's different. Kendrick different. I free regards to what? And then in regards to getting getting shots thrown at him, nigga. Oh, no, no, I that's think it's fine. That's no, I think, fine. I think yeah. Drake has a whole record for Cole. Of course sure. he does. I think he watched that ASAP Rocky video and went, yo, Wonder, load something Are up. you <laughs> kidding me? Yeah, he's next. Now you in it too, goddammit. Go ahead. You in it too. You didn't want to battle. You didn't want to <laughs> rap. You was you couldn't sleep. Oh, you going to really not. You going to say candy, man, nigga. You going to really not be able to sleep now. Now he's stealing Kendrick's rollout. No, but I'm just saying, like he's on that. He's on, I, he's on. He's next. If he definitely do a, if he do a song with Kendrick, which is not far fetched, but if he do a song with Kendrick, then that is definitely igniting this whole shit all over again. Ooh, yeah. And if Kendrick Lamar brings J Cole out at the Super Bowl <laughs> after after Drake and they had a song called "Big as the Super Bowl," and Kendrick Lamar brings J Cole out at the Super Bowl, bro. That'd be sick, bro. <laughs> Without a doubt. Right in time for the Super Bowl. Without a doubt. Without a, and I'm listen, I'm not mad at it. But I it would just love it. it just makes Cole look very funny because you backed out of a beef. You backed out of a Him beef. Doing a song doesn't mean uh, you backed God, what you what the yo, I'll, Julie, I'll shut the, the ledge. It's I'll a little the shut the fuck I'll up, take the ledge. Kendrick's a phenomenal artist. Cole, every album bro. he's done. Oh my God. So if you do a song with somebody that Drake doesn't like, you are part of the beef. <laughs> this is great. I love this. 
That is a conceptual album. The concept of this one, we don't need to get too far into it, but Kendrick would fit the concept of this album. So Cole, like any good artist creating a, a narrative or a world, is going to recruit artists that fit Man. the thing that he's trying to do. Cut it out. Kendrick fits into that. Cut it out. Also, those Because you know the optics. You know the optics right now. You, uh, you oh, can, I, I you know, can paint yeah. it as a creative. Yeah. And Bro. The, the whole your whole optics argument is stupid. That's a stupid argument. You know the optics. It's because it's what it looks like. But what is it though? We grown. We not kids. Just because you see something that you think looks like that, you already know that it's not like that. Because if it was, I just broke down. He would have probably do. He probably would be taking shots at Drake if he was dissing Drake. But y'all want to y'all want to make this where he take he chose a side. And I don't think it's even about him choosing a side or not. Because tomorrow they drop a song, him and Drake drop a song tomorrow, then what? Then y'all going to say, oh, I guess he didn't choose a side. It's like, he hasn't dissed Drake. So we can't say he chose a side. He's just doing music like he normally does. Yeah. Artistic and all that shit. The optics sure, right now, sure. you cannot do a song with no fucking Kendrick Lamar and think that now you and Drake don't have beef. Cut the shit, I think bro. it's a pretty simple... But that's kind of, that's a stupid thing to say because that means that if Drake does any song with anybody else, they're going to say, y'all going to say, well, that means that you can't do song now. All these people that he does songs with, Drake, that, that means that, well, he got beef with Kendrick because they all did songs with Drake. That's basically what you're saying. So J. Cole can't do a song with anybody. You know what I'm saying? So if J. Cole was to come and do another song with, 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 with Drake, that means he has a problem with Kendrick now, right? That's what you're saying? Like, if, he was, if Drake dropped an album and J. Cole's on his album, that means that now he's, he's on Drake's side. It's like, come on, bro. Cut this shit, bro. No, We're not right. doing that. I don't that. think you you're can right. do a song with ASAP Rocky and think you don't have beef with Drake at that point. I mean, <laughs> yes, but... Oh, come on. But the thing is... Now you're acting like Julian. No, no, no. But the thing, the difference in that is I don't think Drake looks at Rocky like a rap beef. That's more personal shit. Even worse. Nah, it's what? not. It's Yo, not. get the fuck... <laughs> Yo, man, this dude is the worst, bro. i never seen nothing like it, bro. I You... Maul, you should be Drake's lawyer. You should be his, you should be his glaze lawyer. The glaze lawyer. That's what you should be. Because sometimes I feel like, bro, you just make up stuff on the fly. You're so good at that, bro. You're so good at that. You should write a a a, a, a Drake a, a Drake book. You know what I'm saying? How to and how to glaze, how to glaze properly. That's what you should be. It's like a cookbook, but it's 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 in sections. How to glaze properly, Drake. You know what I'm saying? That's what you should, the, the Drake glazer, you know what I'm saying? Whatever we want to call it. You know what I'm saying? But that's what you should do because you're very good at that. Like you're very good at making it, making up these different theories and different things for Drake. You're very good at that, man. You should make, you should do that. Fuck you doing with him? Not, I, I think that's more, that's just personal shit. Drake is looking at Rocky like, nigga, cut it Yeah, up. isn't personal beef worse I think, than I think it, it, make, it would make more sense for Cole and, and Kendrick to do something because they're actually friends. In real life, yes. But if we talk about MCs and rappers first, and I don't think Drake looks at Rocky as a threat as a rapper, no, as an I, artist. Of course not. So he's not even looking at Cole doing a feature with him like, yo, that's fucked up. How are you going to do? Now, if he does a feature with Kendrick, mm. oh, you niggas better. It's going with 2025. What? Let's run the tape back again. What happens if Kendrick brings out Cole at the Super Bowl and he does his first person shooter verse? <laughs> And, and Cole's a fucking clown if he do that. <laughs> that would never so you happen. Don't, they would have to <laughs> drink. <on. laughs> yo. Yo, I never. Yo, I'm telling you. If you want to get mall triggered, just talk. Just say you don't like Drake. <laughs> yo, he was on Joe Budden podcast. He was cool as a fan, boy. Now look at him. He gets so triggered over Drake. He get he get passionate. It's like you know, like for real. He get real passionate over Drake, bro. I don't understand what's going on with you. You know what I'm saying? It's like damn. Like oh my god, rubbing the six god feet or something, man. What's going on here?
Yeah, man, let's finish this off. As that music, they would even have to clear I'm, no, I'm it. Just it saying, would never I'm, I'm just saying he's a clown if he does that. <laughs> he would not do that. I'm I know making he a bad joke. I'm answering your question, though. <laughs> you asked the question, I answered it. That's all. I know it can't happen. I know it most likely mm. won't happen. No. But in the event that they it does They don't have music happen, together that would even warrant bringing Cole out. Yet. I, I, yo, listen, man. Don't get me started, man, because then y'all going to say... Big as the what? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See y'all playing with me And if I sit here And start yelling again Y'all gonna call me A glazing all kind of shit but We've never called me. you that Can we please watch The Super Bowl together As a fuck family Fuck no Fuck that Super Cause you are You are you, you, You're you like You're the grill. You ain't the glazed general But The axe the, the, He's the king Now you may be the glazed general Act may be king glazer You know what I'm saying The king glazer You're the glazed general You know what I'm saying That's what it is Home to the general Save some time More the glazer that's you <laughs> the glaze general <laughs> with your with your hat <laughs> like, that's some bullshit it's some bullshit he helped all you niggas he was taking those niggas on tour but he wanna go on tour <laughs> oh my god bro hey man I'm gonna end it there man yeah man I never seen nothing like it it's just it's crazy to me it's so crazy to me how this how this whole thing turned out. And it's like, what be, what we gotta understand. This is what I, this is what I want you to understand, right? When it comes to when it comes to Kendrick and J. Cole, when it comes to Kendrick and J. Cole, one of the biggest things that I think people gotta understand is the imp, the level of respect is there. I think the only reason why Kendrick, because see, Kendrick is different from J. Cole and Drake. Kendrick is a savage. And what I mean by savage, he he's always wanting to be the best. From the beginning, from when you go back and listen to some of the freestyles, the monster freestyle, he was calling out Jay. He was calling out everybody. He wants to be the best of all time. He has the spirit of competition in him. I think a lot of people, when it comes to rap, they don't know how to handle that. You know what I'm saying? Kendrick is like, I'm let's compete. Forget, forget. I'm trying to be Michael Jordan in this. Forget, uh, forget, forget all this this whatever we could be friends later but once we get on the court the friendship shit is over that's that's kendrick j cole is not like that j cole is more kumbaya guy you know what i'm saying he wants to be friends with everybody which is cool there's nothing wrong with that you know what i'm saying it's, that's a a great way to become one of the greatest but the problem with that way is and this is a lot of people got to understand is hip-hop is a savage blood sport and to fight for the top, you got to either do what Drake does or you got to do, do what Kendrick does. One or the other. And you got to be an elite savage. J. Cole can never be number one because there's always going to be either a Drake or a Kendrick. And the reason why, because those two guys, they don't care if they have to go at you to become number one. You know what I'm saying? And I'm thinking in my in my head, the fight for supremacy was won by Kendrick. Kendrick beat uh, Drake. The reason why he beat Drake because Drake isn't he isn't he isn't a rapper. You know what I'm saying? He's not an MC. He does the use the component of rap, but he's not an MC. He's not a rapper. He just just so happens to fall into the category of it. Kendrick is a complete artist. And he takes them off of here, who matter who it is. He doesn't care. He's taking them all out. Because in his head, I have to be the best. No matter what, I got to be the best. And that's the reason why Kendrick Lamar is number one. We ain't even get to the music part of it. We just got to the part where he's just his savage mode. You know what I'm saying? And for all y'all that was out there saying, well, Kendrick Lamar, we got to see if he's battle tested. We got to see if he can actually battle. Drake been through a lot of battles. He battled all these people. You got to see it. And I say to y'all, well, y'all really didn't know Kendrick's career. Because if you go back and listen to some of his stuff, he was a battle rapper before all this. On the, on the streets. Going to blocks, battling people. And I think that given, given the fact that Kendrick is where he's at today, Kendrick Lamar is a better song maker than Drake, 100%. Y'all can say whatever y'all want, but he's a better song maker than Drake. And 
and I say this and I'm going to keep saying this. If Kendrick Lamar was to drop as many albums as Drake did, we wouldn't be talking about Drake. It wouldn't even be a competition. Like, for real. It wouldn't be. But either way, man, that's the show. Good morning to y'all. Y'all have yourself a good morning. 12 o'clock show will be coming up, man. Thank y'all for watching. I really appreciate y'all. I love y'all, man. Y'all have a good day. See y'all. Peace. <laughs>